What do you make of the Tigers? Uh, they've been pretty good in recent times. Well, they've got the talent, there's no doubt about that. And uh, new coach, new team, it takes a while for them to, to I guess, uh, gel as a team. And right now they are. Uh, three in a row they've won. And uh, uh, they are feeling good about themselves. So there's no doubt they're going to throw everything at us. I read a quote from Anstey uh, over the week saying, you know, we've done pretty well, but we've, we've got to match ourselves against the Wildcats. They're the best team in the comp right now along with New Zealand. What do you think when they sort of rev themselves up to take you on like that? Oh, that's just uh, an underdog statement. You know, they're they're, they're going to come here loose and they've got nothing to lose. So I think their expectation is that, oh yeah, they're going to uh, get beat by us because we're meant to be a better team. So they're going to come in and play free and, and uh, just, uh, I guess, see where they're at. Uh, we do like to set the stands of the league and uh, set the stands for our team. So yeah, we'll see what happens. That big lineup that they've got, how do you sort of expose them? How do you make most of it. Well that's a strength of ours is our mobility. Uh, we, we are what, the smallest team in the league and uh, we're saying that the best rebounding team, the best defensive team. So uh, they have to try and match up on us. Uh, I've always try, uh, said that uh, yeah that they might have their advantages but we've got ours as well. So uh, we're definitely going to get them up and down and make those big guys play some defence against us. How's Manny held up this week? Great. Yeah really really good. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to yeah, just keep slowly m moving him on and reducing his workload at practice so when he comes game time he's good to go. Uh, fitness wise he, he did struggle in the second half last week but that's expected after having a you know, good five, six weeks off but uh, you know, he, he's looking tremendous. He seems to be mentally pretty happy as well just when he spoke to us the other yeah. day in a good frame of mind. Yeah, he's been through this a few times. It's been tough. He, you know, they say he's injury prone. Uh, he's been through the, the rehab process, and uh, I guess that he's uh, never felt better. And that's why we made he made the decision to come back last week. And uh, I think that's great that you know he's now you know he's growing up. He's an adult. He's a man, and and uh, he's definitely mentally tougher than what he has ever been. As the coach, do you? Look at it as it's it's been a better rehab program for him having a guy like Will here to help him out as well. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, when when you've got somebody full time that really can hold his hand and uh, go through everything daily, and uh, I think that's been tremendous for, for, for Maddie and also the rest of the group. Did the success of Dunnigan, do you think, maybe spur him on and make him work a little bit harder? I don't think so. Uh, you know, there was an enormous amount of hype on Dunning and he deserved that, but uh, you know, Matty's Matty and uh, what you see is what you get with him. He's one of the hardest working big guys in the league and uh, I think uh, probably intrinsically, you know, when Matty came back on court a couple of weeks ago, you know, I've already said he, he came out and proved that he was the, 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 the alpha dog out there and uh, you know, I think Dunning appreciated that and recognised that as well. What about uh, in the paper today, just about your contract talks? And uh, is it hard for you at the moment to think, well, I wouldn't mind still being Wildcats coach, but also Boomers is there as a bit of a carrot as well? Yeah, I mean, it, it, I've always said, you know, for, from 10 years ago that my goal was to, to be the head coach of the Boomers. So uh, you got to set lofty goals, and that's one of them. And uh, part of the process was coaching in the NBL. And, uh, you know, I, I have the best job in Australia here at the Wildcats. And, uh, you know, I'm absolutely blessed with what I'm doing with the Wildcats. Uh, and right, right now I'm not focusing on the boomers, I'm actually focusing purely on the Wildcats because if we do really well with the Wildcats that may uh, help me with uh, the job with the boomers. But right now that, that's in the future, I mean right now it's the Wildcats. Johnny Flynn uh, comes to town for the first time, what sort of, what have you guys got in store for him? Damien Martin. <laughs> No, it, it's you know, Johnny Flynn is, uh, you know, he's obviously a first round draft pick. He's played in the NBA. He's a legit player. Uh, he's had some great games this year and uh, he's lightning quick. Uh, but as I said, we've got Damien Martin, who's the best defensive guard in the league. Can he stop him? Probably not, but uh, Johnny will know that uh, he's in for a battle. In terms of being a, a top round draft pick, uh, is he one of the better credentialed players that's come in? Well, the, the most credentialed. And, uh, and that, that's the thing. Uh, it's not very often somebody of his calibre comes to Australia. So I think if we, you know, let's get everybody in Perth come out, watch this guy, and uh, and hopefully we can uh, slow him down. But no, there's no doubt he's pretty special. The boys have been saying that there's about 12,000 expected 
um, this week. That must help you out as well at Perth Arena. Yeah, that's why I love Perth. Uh, you know, I always said this, this is the, the, the greatest uh, fan base in Australia and we keep proving it week in, week out. And uh, I think we're playing some great basketball. Uh, and right, right now we, we, we're blessed to have uh, have a, a fan base like, like we do here in Perth. Do they have an effect on opposing teams coming here, do you think? No doubt. Uh, it affected us game one. <laughs> when we walked in that stadium, see how big it was, we didn't handle it very well. But now, uh, the last three games we've played there, you know, 11 12,000 a game has been fantastic. And our guys are excited about playing in, in venues like that now. Search for Robbo's replacement demo. Where are you guys at with that? Yeah, no, we have made an offer to a guy, uh, and we're just uh, go, you know, going through the process of negotiating and, and things like that. So, hoping in the next uh, few days we'll have everything uh, finalised. You talk about Damo and the last one. Um, does he really? Have you noticed his move this week? I mean, probably a challenge each week, but this is probably the biggest challenge, isn't it? Yeah, he came in uh, early in the week and got two tapes of. Uh, of the Tigers and uh, he's gone through those tapes, he's trying to work out you know, his strengths going right, going left, we do all those scouts but he's actually done it himself and uh, you know, for him to come in early in the week, you know, or, or, or six days before the game, you know, I think Damo's uh, he's definitely looking forward to the challenge. You notice a difference um, without Robbo, like the, the boys work so well in tandem, has there been anything different? Yeah, well, we, we've had to make adjustments. Obviously, you, you can't replace Robbo the way he plays, but uh, I've just seen that uh, other people grow. Uh, they've taken more of a leadership role. They've stepped up and said, OK, well, just because Robbo's gone, we now have to step up. So that's something significant that I've noticed. What did you make of Robbo's comments a couple of weeks ago? He said he listed Greg... Damo and Kev as yep. potential leaders going down the track. What did you make of that? Oh, he's got a spot on, and uh, that, that's a thing. Uh, you know, you've got to look for the, look towards the future, and uh, you know those three are definitely. I mean, D Damo's captained several teams that that I, I've been involved with, and uh, he, he's a natural leader. Uh, you know, Greg Hire, you know, he is. Uh, you know, he's a warrior. Uh, his work ethic and everything, uh, he, he's shown that he's a tremendous leader and, and, and to watch Kev grow from that 22 year old to a 26 year old, you know, he, he's uh, one of the best players in the league and he earns a lot of respect to the players as well.